Hey guys, it's MGS, back to give you another part of my Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004 playthrough. And today I have another duel with a Weevil Underwood. So hopefully uh, things will turn around for me against Weevil as I try to unlock the Jinzo Booster Pack. I know it won't be easy, but I'll definitely give it my best shot. I said Torrential Tribute to start off with, and I'm going to also set offerings to the doom face down and next I summon my mechanical chaser in attack mode and that's gonna do it for me for now now Weevil he activates a spell card dark hole and that's going to suck because that destroys my mechanical chaser and now he summons mushroom man to the field in attack mode and with that he's going to attack me directly and I'll just let that one go it's just a wimpy monster nothing to be worried about right now any of my monsters can take it out and I'm not really too worried about dueling a perfect duel as long as I win. Okay, so now I'm going to summon Giant Red Sea Snake to the field in attack mode. And my Sea Snake is going to destroy that little puny mushroom man. Attack and Weevil will lose a thousand life points. Okay, so now let's see what Weevil has up his sleeve next. And now he activates a spell card Monster Reborn to bring back my mechanical chaser from the graveyard. So he special summons it in attack mode. And now's a good chance to activate my Torrential Tribute which is a trap card that destroys all monsters on the field once a monster has been summoned but I probably should have waited until he summoned his Kurama but in, but in any case it's only a weaker monster as well so 800 isn't too bad of damage to lose So now it's my move. I drawn Giant Soldier of Stone. So, but I, what I really want to do is keep going on the offense. So I summon my Dunamis Dark Witch, which means that Weevil will lose another thousand life points after I attack. So get rid of those little bird brain of uh, uh, monster that he has on the field there. So a seesaw duel so far. And this time Weevil doesn't play a spell card, he just set a monster in defense mode. So I've drawn Maneater Bug, that's definitely going to come in handy. But I summon Beta the Magnet Warrior. So that I could attack him directly once I get rid of his defense monster. Alright, Beta the Magnet Warrior, I'll have you attack that defense monster. And that was a man eater bug, and it looks like I'm not going to be able to attack directly because he's going to destroy. Oh, I thought he was going to destroy my Dunamis Dark Witch, but he just destroyed my Beta the Magnet Warrior. That was a mistake for him, so now. He gets to uh, lose 1800 points of damage to his life points. Alright, so that is going to end my turn. So it looks like Weave is going to continue to play defense. So it lo doesn't look like Weevil is going to put much of a of a fight right now. So I summon Force Raider and I keep hammering his defenses until he loses all his life points. 
So Dunamis Dark Witch, get rid of that defense monster. And that is a Witch of the Black Forest. He gets to use its effect. He gets to grab a monster from his deck with 1500 defense or less. And he chooses Jirai Gumo. Alright, Vorse Raider gets to attack directly. And that is a nice play. And now he's down to 2300 life points. So this duel is almost over, but can't count Weevil out just yet because he is going to summon his Jirai Gumo. And I was right. That was easy to predict because he just grabbed that card from which the Black Forces effect. And now he's going to try to destroy my Force Raider with it. And he did call the coin flip correctly so he doesn't lose any life points when he attacks. So I lost my Force Raider. And now I have to figure out a way to destroy his Jirai Gumo because it has 2200 attack points. So I've drawn a pretty useful spell card, the Forceful Sentry, which allows me to take a peek at Weevil's hand and I get to choose one of the cards he has in his hand to return to his deck. So I will choose... Let's see, Empress, Mantis, and Needleworm are good choices. So I think I'll go with the Needleworm, because I don't want to lose five cards from the top of my deck. And now I will... Let's see, yeah, I will activate Offerings to the Doomed. And with this quick play spell card, I get to destroy one of my opponent's monsters, and I choose Jirai Gumo. And now that is a good game Weevil Underwood because I summon Giant Soldier of Stone. And once I get two direct attacks off, this duel is over. It's alright, Giant Soldier of Stone attack directly. And my Dark Witch will finish him off. So now I have unlocked the Jinzo Booster Pack. And here it is. Let's open it up. So, Regulation of Tribe, a continuous trap card. When you select one type of monster, any monster of the selected type cannot attack. So that's good if you're dueling against a duelist who likes to use one type of monster. Respect play. I'm not too crazy about this trap card because I don't want to show my hand. Grave Robber is one of Joy Wheeler's signature trap cards. So Regulation of Tribe is a decent trap card that I might put in my deck at a later point in time. So that actually will do it for this part of my Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004 playthrough. Comment, like, sub, and in the next part I will try to get a lot of duels done off screen so that I could either duel Rex Raptor or Bones and try to defeat one of them 10 times so I could unlock another booster pack. So I'll see you guys then.